it's Thursday. Today's gonna be a really busy day, but it's not that cold. It's like 50 something degrees right now. It's gonna be 71 today. So just wearing a sweatshirt. Nova's in her little heart sweater. The only one that I can consistently convince her to wear. <laughs> um, what do we have today? We're going on a walk. Then I'm gonna clean the house a little bit. Got someone coming over at 9 a.m. for a meeting slash yarn date. But Nova will be awake, so I doubt I'll get much yarning done. And it depends on how long that person stays. I'm supposed to be recording a podcast today, which I forgot about until this morning. What is time between Christmas and New Year's? Like, what are even are these days? I feel like it's a Tuesday, but it's a Thursday. The week's almost over. I'm supposed to have a podcast go live on Saturday, which means I need to record it. So if they don't leave, when her nap time comes, which wouldn't be the end of the world. You can see it. Look at him. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> If I don't have time to record while she's asleep, because I'm still having a meeting. I don't know when I'm gonna record. Tomorrow night, after she goes to bed maybe? And then stay up late uploading it? I don't know. So yeah, exciting times. I've got a meeting, then a podcast, then we have baby class. I've gotta find time to cook dinner before I go to baby class because I won't be home to cook dinner. Tonight's our normal Thursday night. I was actually planning on doing some work while Nova was asleep today, but nope, not gonna happen. And I switched shoes to my other old pair of tennis shoes this morning. See if that would help, but nope, my foot still hurts. So I'm gonna get a new pair of shoes, some walking shoes, and see that will help. I don't know. If it doesn't help, I guess I'll go to a foot doctor. I got a little bit of Christmas money for my mom and then a lovely couple at church gave me 50 bucks. And I was like, yeah, that was so unnecessary. I don't expect Christmas presents from y'all. But they did, so I have $75, which is a really good pair of shoes, I think. And, and I don't know. I don't know what shoes cost these days. I haven't bought shoes in years. I'm gonna try and get a pair of walking shoes. Maybe that will help. Just making eggs. My meeting, the person I'm meeting with is bringing me Starbucks. A chestnut praline latte. Decaf almond milk, hot. Only two pounds chestnut praline syrup. Of course, cause I'm extra. And I'm making them eggs and also Nova some eggs. Um, and I wanted to also let you know, I know I was talking about my foot pain this morning. I ordered these things on Amazon called Yoga Toes. They're like toe, they like spread your toes and like basically stretch your toes a little bit. I ordered some because I feel like maybe my toes are too cramped and that's why they're hurting, which also is a, I need new shoes. But um, I used to literally live in flip flops which gave my toes plenty of room, but of course not enough cushion on the bottom of my feet. So the ball of my foot was hurting, but now I'm wearing tennis shoes all the time, especially cause it's cold. So my toes are all cramped and now my big toe is hurting. So maybe those will help. The reviews said they would help. So I'm gonna try that and try new tennis shoes when I can get to the store to buy some. And then we will see what happens from there. And if that doesn't work, I guess I'll go to a real foot doctor <laughs> sometime when I have time and money to schedule that appointment. Finished it. Ah! My meeting slash yarn date went on for a very long time, so I did not get a podcast recorded. But I did get this done, and let me tell you, it's much more fun working on a doll or a project that you don't love with company. So I put her hair on. I actually stuffed her hair a little bit because it was too big. Sewed it to her head, finished the second hair, and sewed both of those on. I embroidered some heart eyes. 
Then I embroidered three little buttons. They're kind of crooked, but who cares? And then I sewed on the arms and I did the shoes and sewed them on. And she's all done. She's big. She's really big. And we've decided her name is Cece. Cece the doll. We are on our way to baby class. And Nova has Cece in her lap. She wanted to name that doll Coco, but we already have a horse named Coco. <laughs> so the doll was renamed to Cece. We're sticking with that. It's been such a busy day. We went for a walk this morning, then we called my mom, then we cleaned, then I made breakfast. Well, second breakfast. Then someone came over and we talked and also crocheted. And then that person left and cooked dinner. Now we're on the way to baby class. After baby class, we're gonna go home and eat dinner and then who knows what. But I did not get a podcast recorded. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow we have Nova's two-year-old doctor appointment. And that's at 2.30. So when we get back from that, my husband will probably have to work a little bit still. And then when he gets off of work after dinner, he's gonna take her to the mall or something. And then I can record a podcast then. I. If I wait to record a podcast until tomorrow night at 7, 7.15 after she goes to bed, it's going to be uploading forever. <laughs> like, it, I have to stay awake and make sure that it uploads because it's supposed to go live on Saturday at 7.30 a.m. And I don't want to stay up that late. So tomorrow at 4.30 or 5 is the plan to record a podcast. What, baby? Oh, I can't reach it. We can have it when we stop. Yeah, you dropped it. It's okay. We'll get it in a few minutes. <clears throat> Next Saturday, so not two days from now, not Saturday, New Year's Eve, Saturday, January 7th, is something called Distaff Day in Orlando, which is like a yarn festival. It's basically like a big conference room at a hotel that has yarn vendors and lots of tables and activities and like a fashion show. It's a very tiny Florida sized yarn festival. And I have gone to it one other time. The last time was in 2020 before I was pregnant, before COVID happened, before any of that. And I just found out it was happening again a few days ago. And so one of my friends, the friend I went to Rhinebeck with is going to be there, but she is going on Friday and Saturday. Um, so I texted my other friend who went with me last time and I was going to drive, but then she has to drop her kid off at college on the way. So she's going to drive, which means I can knit the whole time or crochet or whatever. And the only thing is we're going to leave her house at like 845 and then we still have to drop her kid off. So we're not going to be there at 10 a.m. when it opens. Y'all know how I feel about being late. Also, flexible, being flexible, not my strong suit in any way, shape, or form. So I am using this as an opportunity to practice being flexible and going with the flow. It literally does not matter if we get there at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. It doesn't matter. I will be happy and knitting the whole day. It literally does not matter if, like, it's, if I'm not driving. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna practice. Practice being flexible. I'm probably gonna take too many projects. You got a boo-boo? What happened? You got a boo-boo trying to take your shoes off, I bet. Banged your elbow. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. If you are in Florida, in Central Florida anywhere, this staff day is happening in Orlando at a hotel on Saturday, January 7th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Look it up. I think the ticket to get in, even at the door, is $20. No and oh, she gets her own boo-boo. <laughs> if I would love to see you if you happen to be in the area. It's a really small festival, so you'll clearly see me. Like, it's one room, at least if it was. Nova, I cannot put your shoe on while I'm driving. You have to wait. I would be happy to put your shoe on when we stop. Yes, we're almost to baby class. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh yes, it's gonna be a really small festival, so you'll see me. I'll definitely be there by like 11.30. Um, please say hi, don't be scared. <laughs> please, 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 please. Okay.